the like on your son if you don't know me uh, by now uh, yeah I'm a world traveler uh, now uh, and have been uh, busy with uh, sharing materials about the ascension um, consciously since about uh, the starting of the uh, conversions in 88 so I'm the old fish in this uh, pool, and I wanted to say something, address the calling from Adamu uh, that I heard yesterday, and uh, want maybe you want to. We can share this if you haven't seen this. Let's see if it's here. Oh, it's here. Let's see. No, it's not this one. Yeah, so Adam speaks the ancient red vampire vampire is there. And here you can I just make it the shortest uh, possible, only the beginning. master body which was uh, ruling over the rest of the demons and that happened after the extraterrestrials were forced to leave there uh, which he doesn't talk there but I have to check his website to see why they had to leave But after the uh, extraterrestrials uh, left, the big demon was controlling the earth for thousands of years. And this is a big lesson 
Uh, I think those who first of all believe in ideology that we come to we come to uh, a conclusion that uh, ideology is coming with the maker. Ideologies are not just uh, an area of uh, intellectual area or ideology is not uh, just a mental uh, matter, but it is emanating from a certain particular body. Uh, it, it is strange that we haven't seen it uh, so vividly so far. Although we had great examples like Christ or in the other far end, uh, like the, uh, the Pope in the Vatican or... I mean, evil uh, ideology and evil... Uh, um, I call it uh, establishments. They are not made up only by the ideology and the structure that it is implied by this, but also originally it is uh, imminent from a certain individual body. So this body of this uh, creature uh, that was ruling the earth for thousands of years uh, the Palladians in this video, he says they call him uh, Roth, Rothschild or Rothschild, maybe Red Red Shield, if you call it or something. I heard uh, also the name Yaldabaoth or Yaldabaoth from the, I think, a mythology from Greeks. Anyway, uh, as a person, who works uh, closely with the highest highest spiritual messages ever uh, received uh, in this environment. I had, uh, of course, to become aware uh, not only of the messages, the ideology of those beings that also become aware of who they, who they are, who they were. And the reason, the, my organic reason for uh, caring about this uh, issue is because I'm personally uh, offended and personally attacked and personally banned and denied uh, until today the system of control here is, is designed, uh, let's say, like this. Uh, one of the basic uh, line of actions for the uh, this uh, uh, demon, demon, like in every case, uh, uh, they are very sensitive to competition and they would they have created a system a mechanical system a spiritual system and the ideology system where everybody that is potentially threatening their position they are holding to the top would be uh, read off so um, if you want to have the truth in a nutshell of history of why humanity have not risen beyond uh, above a certain level, is because uh, those who were capable of pulling the the whole field emotionally, structurally, ideologically, uh, scientifically, artistically, uh, spiritually, emotionally to lift the people above this trouble that the demon was making, the group of demons that are making under him as well, the cabal that are under them and then the politicians who are under them and all those who benefit from those 
this evil system and believe that it is the only thing that exists. So when you have uh, in, in, um, um, imposed the system forcefully, uh, coming from a point of uh, competition, of not allowing anybody uh, who is capable uh, above a certain level to, to even uh, exist here. That's why you have people like Nikola Tesla, or you had uh, great artists, you had uh, you have great developers, uh, great finders, uh, whatever. Not only they are bent in their life, only don't you don't know that how much pressure this pressure is applied on them in different ways. Uh, but eventually they crash, either they die early or they get killed. They are being murdered. So. Uh, I'm speaking from a position of a person who is uh, personally being reduced from a very high potential to a level where I'm not even heard at all. Um, I've been banned. My websites that I've been that I've been doing uh, were banned. Nobody knew that I was making them. Only me, I could see them. Um, and then I saw uh, how uh, dear friends of mine, the best artists that I knew, are getting uh, desperate and uh, because of uh, disregard and ridicule and uh, of competition, uh, they've been. Uh, eventually to early young age uh, death and by means that people would usually think of natural cause that they were actually being assassined and this is happening the assassination here for people who are who show higher capacity than usual who have the uh, promised who carry promise for humanity, they have been um, systematically assassinated during thousands of years. The, uh, this fact can be maybe very alarming if uh, you are a, a good artist, a very high high definition top artist and you are pursuing a career in areas of, uh, that uh, involve morality, that involve uh, uh, something that is higher than the existing and uh, deteriorating, uh, you know, diminishing uh, aspect of the frequencies that you have here, if you rise above it, if I rise it above it, every time I rise above it, there, 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 there is uh, somebody or uh, in position of power or somebody who just uh, volunteered to interfere and ruin my, uh, my field of frequency somehow, uh, usually by violence. And sometimes my closest uh, friends uh, I get captured by uh, violent frequencies and I'm suffering of uh, constant waves of disturbances if I uh, expose myself, myself outside and so I'm very much used to keeping to myself and if I go to the market, if I present myself in the market, there's a, a big uh, steer of uh, manipulation starting about uh, me and about what I do that I can feel and it stops me and it uh, blocks me so that I would, what I did was re regressed and um, came back to my studio to reconsider the whole picture because I was aware of it. I became aware of it with the years. I learned by my friends sufferings and I learned of my family suffering and because I was not 
fulfilling the capacity, the potential that was uh, that came in with my uh, birth certificate. My birth certificate was altered so that I will be a number in some country and I will be under this and this uh, um, control system. But there will there will be nothing about my very great potential. So I had to recollect that remember, and I was remembering stuff that relates to me to my work. It uh, belongs to hundreds of thousands of years back in the past. And looking at all this uh, perspective, the perspective I also could uh, project thousands of years for myself in the future uh, after I personally rose above it without uh, sharing it with anybody. I was not going online. They knew that I was rising and rising and they tried to attack me in every way they could. And every time I realized who it was, I'm stuck in back to and turn like a boomerang. I, I created vision, visions, projections, visual projections, and emotional projections. So I get hit back with what they sent me. Eventually, we have become. This was a. I I, I see it now after so many years. The social the work of. The, uh, so many people who were working to read off this uh, demonian uh, influence from all sorts of walks of life who became aware of people who are aware of freedom, but also hurt personally, like myself. So when Adam comes and suggests uh, now to, that we uh, will uh, co-create a new uh, situation here, a new reality for ourselves on the earth, and uh, I, I want to say a uh, uh, few short things about if this video doesn't go too, too long. Uh, the problem with this people who come forward and they have learned and figured and have been communicating on this level for a long time and they created a feeling of certainty uh, about their uh, contribution, about their teaching, about their healing. Uh, and so forth. The problem they want to, and uh, when they come to work together, they they still want to pursue their own career. They still want to be uh, communicating with others, and uh, and uh, they miss, but but keeping their own esteem, their own uh, uh, teaching, you know, to, to make it uh, what would look. In a way, like a personal uh, um, venue, where the rest are helping you to proceed to progress on your uh, path. But then there is a general path we call it today. I call it today, like everybody, many people do. I call it full point. Full point. So the full full point for all of us is created by each of us express, expressing in this uh, gathering where we gather with Adamu, everybody that wants to, you know, pull and add to this pool, to pull in everybody that is attracted to help. I think the best way to go about it is to and indeed <clears throat> evolve with your uh, personal uh, path, but uh, in relation to another, another person, say Adamu is one, and then there will be somebody else that I will be uh, <clears throat> uh, progressing in relation to his particular, uh, um, say, field, body field, field body, yeah. It wouldn't be so much about uh, ideology, but it would be rather uh, relating uh, from a, a rising uh, elevator, uh, relating to another one that is rising in their rising elevators. So it's like a, a circus, a playing ground that uh, all the evolutionary uh, uh, 
beings are arising uh, <clears throat> with their own capacity developing uh, some people want to go to they see a certain protection and others see other protections so this pulling the strings of so many projections uh, together uh, can could uh, make the general impression uh, of uh, indeed uh, a new uh, planetary culture. I, I, I also think that this is an experiment that has never been tried or never succeeded before until today and now uh, we are getting to where the Earth actually truly becomes the center of culture that was pre uh, meant to be when it was first uh, established here by some sources by Palladians millions of years ago we established a culture uh, a star, a water star that will be a center, center for all uh, evol evolving uh, types that will come here and but each of them wanted to think of themselves as a center of this evolution. Mm. But when I think about it, and I work with many great artists, and when I think about how to position in myself, how to position, how to write, and how to say things, I per se it's a point to point, point that best for me is to talk to a particular person and not talk to a. a uh, most of the time not to a group of people, not to more than one person, so then I know, um, although now I'm talking to everybody because maybe it's the uh, first time, uh, and every time there will be references to other people, but I will try to uh, address uh, a particular uh, point to express a particular point in the direction of the fulcrum point. I will, I mean, when I'm talking now, like you would talk, when you make a video, you will look at your fulcrum point. You will look at the point where all this information and expression that you're giving out, you're letting out, is being spread with so many different rights in so many different shapes. So allowing this uh, phenomena, uh, like I'm describing now, is why I'm making this video. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I'd be glad to hear people uh, broadcasting and uh, not necessarily answering me or addressing what I say, but I will be happy to see few people provoke to uh, self-expression and to developing in something in their own area like they would expect to do in the first place. But uh, having it put into uh, the structure with Fukum, I mean, having everybody aware to which field he's talking to and in which string they want to resonate. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for much watching me. Adios.